name is Lucian Kubo, and I'm a third generation Japanese American. This is Sayo Fujioka. She's holding a sign by the San Jose Nikkei Resistors. And it, then, then they came for us, never again is now. I'm an active member of the Santa Cruz Indivisible, as well as a supporting member of the Santa Cruz Nikkei Resistors. Thank you for coming out tonight to address this humanitarian crisis facing our country. Children separated by families, abused and mistreated, asylum seekers filling detention centers. This dehumanizing conditions are created by our own current administration and fueled by racist hysteria. Sally, it is not a new story. And at looking at history, we must stop this crisis now. I'm going to speak about my family's story and the experience of many Japanese Americans. In the spring of 1942, soon after the executive order 9066 was signed, my mother's family heard a knock on the door. When they opened the door, several FBI agents came in and they took her father into custody without a warrant and never charged with a crime. Within a few minutes they were gone. The family was in shock. Then they found out the next day that he was on a train to some out some prison and out of the state. Oh, dear. 